Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Daryl. And if you have taken the time to subscribe to my channel and share it with someone, I really appreciate it. Like I said before, this is a journey that I'm going on and I'm going to ask you to come along with me. And as the Holy Spirit encourages me to grow, I'm gonna encourage you to grow as well. As we grow and become more spiritually mature, our level of service goes up as well. What I mean is serving other people that are in need in our local church and our universal church, and as well as those who may not belong to our church. Yes, serving those who are lost and do not have a relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is what we must do as followers of Christ. But we can't do that on our own. I've explained before in other videos that we must follow the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide us into situations to where our light can shine and we can help encourage, love, inspire other people. We don't have the power to save people, but since we know that, it's our obligation to point them to Him. But how do we do this? We have to exhibit the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And the fruits of the Holy Spirit is not something that just is giving to us. The fruits of the Holy Spirit is something that is developed over time. Now, what are the fruits of the Spirit? Well, follow me to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, and the Word of God reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, self-control. Against such there is no law. All these fruits of the Holy Spirit are actions that the Holy Spirit prompts us to do when we follow Him. On today's video, we're just going to focus on the love that the Holy Spirit brings. The love that this verse is talking about is our actions and our deeds in result of the Holy Spirit pushing us and encouraging us to do so. Now in the Bible, there are four types of love that are spoken about. And the fourth one, agape, an unconditional love. This is the kind of love that describes God and his character. When you read the word of God, you have to take it in context. And the context of the scriptures and the books will explain to us and describe to us what type of love the word of God is talking about. Verses in the Bible that perfectly describe the kind of love that we should exhibit. And that's in 1 Corinthians, and the word of God reads, Love is patience, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. And this is the kind of love that the Holy Spirit will cultivate in us over time. But we have to submit ourselves to the power of the Holy Spirit. We have to submit ourselves to Christ. Christ is the example that we must follow, but we can't do it on our own. God sent us an advocate and a teacher to guide us through those times. When we exhibit love in such a way that glorifies our Heavenly Father, we properly serve our brothers and sisters in Christ, as well as those who don't belong to Christ. And as the Holy Spirit encourages me to understand what love is, I'm going to encourage you. Could you imagine if each and every one of us who follow Christ exhibited these behaviors when we walk into the world, how much the world would be a better place? If this message encouraged you in any way, give all all glory to our Heavenly Father. I'm going to ask you to grow. I'm going to ask you to lean on the Word of God because that's what the Holy Spirit has prompted me to do. And because I love you, I want you to grow. Thank you for following me today. Thank you for listening to me today. And you have a blessed day.